Hello friends, in this video we make 1,3-dinitrobenzene also known as meta-dinitrobenzene. The 1,3-dinitrobenzene is prepared by further nitration of nitrobenzene using the nitrating mixture. For this experiment, we need 10.5 ml of concentrated sulfuric acid, 7.5 ml of concentrate nitric acid and 5 ml of nitrobenzene which we had prepared in our previous video. We begin by making the nitrating mixture similar to what we did in the preparation of nitrobenzene. I took a round bottom flask, it is kept in cold water. Then I add 7.5 ml of concentrated nitric acid to it. Then slowly I add 10.5 ml of concentrated sulfuric acid and this forms the nitrating mixture. Concentrated sulfuric acid should be added carefully to the nitric acid. After making the nitrating mixture, with the help of a dropper, we will add the 5 ml nitrobenzene into the nitrating mixture. I will provide a link to my synthesis of nitrobenzene in the description. Add the nitrobenzene slowly and constantly swirl the flask. After completely adding the nitrobenzene, the flask was kept in a boiling hot water bath with a reflex condenser attached. It was reflexed for 15 to 20 minutes. This was the whole setup of the reflex. What is happening here is Nitrobenzene gets nitrated in the meta position forming 1,3-dinitrobenzene or meta-dinitrobenzene. It's actually a solid product and it is now remaining as liquid in this mixture. Next step, we pour the contents of the flask to cold distilled water taken in a beaker. I have taken around 100 ml of distilled cold water in this beaker. Add the mixture into the water with constant stirring with the glass stirring rod. Immediately we observe crystals of meta-dinitrobenzene separating out as a pale yellow solid. After keeping the beaker undisturbed for few minutes, the solid metadinitrobenzene product has settled down to the bottom of the beaker. The next step is filtration. We just pour the contents through a normal filter paper here. Vacuum filtration is not necessary here because the crystals are much bigger and the filtration would be faster. After filtration, the solid product was washed sometimes with cold distilled water in order to remove much of the acid impurities present in it. Finally, the solid product was allowed to dry and this is the crude product after washing. The next step is to recrystallize the crude compound to get purer metadinitrobenzene. Recrystallization is done with ethyl alcohol as this compound is insoluble in water. Start by adding a minimum amount of the ethyl alcohol and try to dissolve the maximum amount. I had used around 60 ml of ethyl alcohol and the compound has almost fully dissolved in it. Now. I heated the solution in a water bath to dissolve the rest of the compound. The resultant solution is clear and has a yellow color. Now we set aside the flask for cooling to room temperature.
After about 30 to 45 minutes of cooling, crystals start to form. Crystals are arranged in needle shaped pattern and the crystals are actually much more colorless now. You can very well make out that once I drain the supernatant liquid. After draining the supernatant liquid, we can see the crystals much clearly now. They have a needle shaped pattern. Even though they appear colorless, there is a yellow tinge to it. Now we collect the crystals and dry them between folds of tissue paper. If you want, you can collect another crop of crystals by evaporating more of the alcohol, but make sure to test its purity by determining the melting point before mixing it with the first crop. Here is the final purified product of 1,3-dinitrobenzene. I would like to take this opportunity to thank my Patreon supporters who have financially supported me so that I could get the materials required for doing all these experiments. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you loved the contents of this video, do hit the subscribe button and the bell button for getting notifications about my new videos. Also join my discord server, I will provide a link to that in the description.